Hey y'all, good morning. Today is day three of the, let me put the light on. Day three of the 22 day detox challenge. So I just left the park. It's like six, I went super early, uh, like 5.30 in the morning. Excuse me, I'm still sweaty. Um, yesterday I met this lady named Nicole at the park and we only got to walk for a short period of time because she was, I was already leaving, she was just getting there. And so we agreed, we exchanged information, we agreed to meet again today. She showed up late, but I got to spend some time with her. I walked another mile with her today, one mile today. So I got three miles in. Anyway, today's day three of the detox, 22 day detox challenge. I told her about the challenge I asked her if she would be willing to do it with me, and she said yes. So I'm really excited. She's 67 years old, guys. 67. She's at the park walking, and she's talking to me about the things that she doesn't eat. She's healthy, but what motivated her to begin? Cholesterol, blood pressure, diabetes. This is why I do what I do, because... Any person who will be enlightened by anything that I've learned, that to me is all the blessing in the world. But back to the challenge. Oh, and by the way, I did talk to her about Zio, of course. Um, back to the challenge. Yesterday was was an okay day. I actually had a lot of things going on yesterday from my checking account being emptied out and you know due to fraudulent activity um, you know my phone's acting up like all these things. I lost so much weight last year that now my shoes don't fit anymore so they feel wobbly and big and my feet are falling out of them and my feet hurt because of them so all kinds of interesting things but at the end of the day I went to bed with a thankful heart you know thank God for all my blessings because despite any distractions nothing's gonna stand in my way I still went to my uh, meeting at, Cor at Zervita corporate office my uh, a beautiful friend best friend that I have in my life who you know we don't get we, we're not close anymore you know due to family life whatever but she joined me last night for the meeting I met more new beautiful people I heard wonderful testimonies of life and experiences and I was just uplifted and encouraged despite all the drama that happened to me yesterday so I guess with that in mind that being day two it was a struggle with distractions but I kept focused I kept determined and I'm happy that now we're on day three so I hope y'all are having a great day I hope by today you're you're feeling better because I know yesterday I was already noticing the difference granted I am taking you know the burn and the cleanse oh I forgot to take the cleanse last night I don't have to take it right now. Anyways, um, God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. And just remember, pray to God. You can pray to God and ask him to help you to lose weight. I promise you. You can ask him anything. You can pray for anything. You can pray for him to help you keep your mouth shut because I have to do that. I ask him to guard my words. I ask him to give me the courage to just move forward and my physical goals. And, you know, even when I'm running and I'm crying because of... You know, things that I'm processing through my mind. I cry and I ask, you know, to for God to just help me keep running or help me keep walking. Help me have the, the um, what's the word, the discipline that I need. So when you can't do things on your own, you need to realize that God is there to do them for us. We just have to put our trust in Him and we have to put our faith in Him. And we have to move forward in faith regardless whether or not we know how we're going to get things done we're not supposed to worry about that we're just supposed to speak to God and ask him for the things that we need and things that we want and be specific in our prayer okay guys that's enough talking gotta go love you have a great day Mwah.